In this video, I will show you how to complete the Practica Musica assignment, tonics, and minor key signature. So you'll open your program and then select the Exploring Theory course. Then select Chapter 6, Scales and Key Signatures, and then select the Activity Module Tonics and click Open. Once you've opened the program, you will need to go to the top menu bar for Practica Musica, select the title Tonics, and then for this example, select Minor Keys. Each time that you select um, a module, you will then have to look at the key signature, which is at the beginning of each song, to determine whether any notes in that song are altered. This is based on the scale that the composer used, and that scale then indicates the key signature. So in this case, when I look at the beginning of the song, there are no sharps or flats. And because I am now looking at minor key signatures, I'm going to be looking on my circle of fifths key signature chart inside the inner circle, which shows the minor keys. Those minor key signatures are based on minor scales, which we studied last week. And a key signature without sharps or flats indicates a minor key signature of A minor. So to complete this module, I would need to go down to my piano keyboard and play the note A. That's the tonic, the beginning note for the A minor scale and the beginning note for the A minor key signature. So on my piano keyboard, I start with C. That's just kind of the place I always go to. And I'm going to count up to A, C, D, E, F, G, and A. And then I'll play that note. However, at the top of the screen, it now says that should be a D. My score is now zero because I lost a point. So I don't know why it didn't show the key signature to start, but I'm not going to panic because I know I'll have plenty of time to accrue enough points to complete the level. So in this example, I'm going to click Next. And now I've got six sharps, and I'm supposed to play the starting note for this minor key signature. So in this example, for the minor key signature, I look at my circle of fifths and I see that this would be D sharp minor. That's the tonic note or beginning note for the D sharp minor scale and the D sharp minor key signature. So I'll start down here at C, my beginning place, and I'm going to go up to D. Now because this is D sharp minor, the note I need to play is D sharp. So from my original starting note D, I'm going to go up a half step to this black key and select that to play D sharp. Now I'll click next example. In this example I see four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. And I know by looking at my circle of fifths key signature chart, four flats indicates the F minor key signature and the F minor scale. So coming down to my piano keyboard, I will start with C and count up to F, C, D, E, and F. And this is the note I will play. Then I'll click Next Example. In this example, I see that I have five flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. And I know that three or five flats will indicate a key signature of E flat minor. This is based on looking at the circle of fifths key signature chart. So I once again come down to my piano keyboard. I'm going to start with C, go up to D, and up to E. And because it's E flat, instead of playing E natural, the white key, I'm going to go down a half step and play E flat. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I see what I did. So again, it's not a big deal. Now that I've been corrected, I know five flats. I should have looked more closely at my key signature chart. I actually needed to play B flat. So I'll click next example to get my next one. So as I look at this key signature, I notice one flat, which is B flat. And I know from looking at my key signature chart that the minor key with one flat would be the key of D minor. So I come down to C, go up to D, and this is the note I will play. 
Let's click Next Example. Now I see three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. And I know, based on my circle of fifths key signature chart, that three flats indicates the key signature of C minor, which is based on the C minor scale. And lucky enough, since it's my original starting point, I play C. Then click Next Example. And we're back to sharps. These ones are always the hardest for me, especially if I'm doing them from memory, which is what I'm trying to do right now. So let's look at these sharps and we'll figure it out together. So I have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. So as I look at this example and I look at um, which sharps I have, I notice that I have six different sharps. So the key that I need to play is D sharp minor and I know that by either looking at my circle of fifths or doing the mental calculation. I would recommend just looking at your circle of fifths chart. And so for D sharp minor I'm going to come down and start with C go to the natural note D, and then I know because it's D sharp that I actually need to play the note half a step higher, which would be the black key above. And then once I've played that note, I can click Next Example. Now I come back and I have three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And so if I look at my circle of fifths, I notice that those three sharps indicate a minor key signature of F sharp minor and so when I come down to the piano keyboard to play that it's based on the F sharp minor scale I need to start with my natural notes and go C D E F and then because it's F sharp I'm going to play the note a half step higher which is F sharp and then we'll click one more example and lucky enough, it was the same example that we had before. Three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, indicate the minor key signature of F sharp minor. And so I come back to C, D, E, F. F sharp means I need to play the note a half step higher than our natural note F, and so I'll play this black key. And so you can see up here that I would need to correctly identify 14 more minor key signatures to finish this level and if I'm using my circle of fifths key signature chart this should go very quickly. Remember that minor key signatures are based on minor scales and that in your circle of fifths chart the minor scales and minor key signatures with the altered notes whether it's sharps or flats are listed on the inside circle.